What is portfolio construction and management? Hi, I'm Pattu from Free Cal, and let's consider this question this time. Portfolio management, in my opinion, consists of eight important steps. The first four are shown here. I call this portfolio management 101. That is the very basic uh, that you should um, carry out. First is to define your goals. Unless you have a goal, you do not know uh, how much money to accumulate, how much to invest, how much risk to take, and how to manage that risk. Uh, especially for managing risk, you need to clearly define your goals. When you need the money, how much you can invest, uh, what is the return expected, and so on. And define your investment philosophy. What are the asset classes that you're going to use? Are you going to use only fixed income, only equity, or a mixture of both? Are you going to add gold into it? Are you going to add something else into it, like uh, uh, you know, a bit of trading income and so on? So define your investment philosophy. How are you going to invest money for that? Are you going to invest uh, once in a while? Are you going to invest every month and so on? The second is understand the importance of asset allocation. Asset allocation is how much should I invest in each asset class let's say 50 percent in equity 50 percent in fixed income and so on asset allocation uh, helps us recognize the overall return for the portfolio so we should understand asset allocation next only then once these three steps are complete we should then look at product categories in each asset class and then finally choose the product that is undertake portfolio construction these are the first four basic steps once you do that, the next four basic steps are to review the portfolio periodically. If your goals are several years away, you can choose not to review for the first few years and then you can uh, do an annual review. And then you should rebalance the portfolio periodically. Because of market fluctuations, the asset allocation in your portfolio will deviate. If there is a huge crash in equity or if you have a bumper year in equity, uh, the asset allocation in your portfolio or the amount of equity that you hold in your portfolio will deviate significantly from what you had in mind and therefore you, sh you should reset it back to the intended as uh, asset allocation so that you uh, preserve the fruits of the gains that you've got. So rebalancing periodically is important. You can do it once a year initially and as you approach the goal you can do it uh, more periodically. Asset allocation is not a constant in time. You should vary it um, or gradually every few years and as you approach the goal you should change your asset allocation from a equity heavy portfolio to uh, practically zero equity uh, gradually you should taper down the equity amount gradually and uh, quit when ahead this is the most crucial point if you have a clear goal and if you know how much money you need for the goal you can quickly uh, you know uh, transfer that amount in uh, fixed income and be comfortable and you can take all the risk you want in the equity part and if you have a great year in equity uh, and if you know that you're going to need the money in few years do not take additional risks just shift the money in fixed income and be done with it so you should know when to quit when ahead to so those are the eight steps in portfolio management uh, check out other videos to look at uh, um, how each uh, how to undertake each step carefully bye bye